4th of July weekend, y'all. To celebrate the weekend, I wanted to do a little chord melody arrangement of America, My Country, Tis of Thee. I'm going to teach it to you. It's actually pretty simple. It doesn't have too many crazy uh, finger positions. Um, and I, I think it's fun to play, so hopefully you will enjoy it as well. I have a PDF printable chart of this chord melody arrangement, which you can download in a link in the description below. It definitely makes it easier to follow along with that chart. However, it's not necessary. First, I'm going to break the song down slowly, part by part, and then we're going to play through the whole thing together at the end. Now, this song is in the key of F major, and if you are looking at that PDF chart of the chord melody arrangement, um, you'll see that there's a little flat symbol at the beginning of the music on the note B. And when we're in the key of F major, what that little flat symbol is telling us is that when anytime we come across the note B, we're going to play it as a B flat instead of a B natural. So uh, anytime you see a B note, it's really a B flat, okay? And uh, just to, as a good refresher, it's good to sort of review our F major scale on the ukulele, okay? So let's play through that F major scale because we're going to be playing a lot of those notes. So we're going to start with our F note on the first fret of the E string, okay? F, then we have G, third fret on the E string, then open A, then B flat, which is the first fret, then C, which is the third fret, then D, which is the fifth fret, then E, which is the seventh fret, and then F, which is the eighth fret. Okay? So it's F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. Cool. And the very first hand position we're going to find ourselves in is actually an F chord shape position. For an F chord shape position, you put your middle finger on the second fret G string and your index finger on the first fret E string, like that. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna strum across the G, C, and E strings while your fingers are in this chord shape, okay? So you're not gonna strum that A string. And you're gonna actually let your thumb strum across those strings and land on the A string like this, so like that. And what you want it to sound like is one chord. You don't want it to be like this, right? You just want it to be. And your thumb is landing on that A string, okay? And as a general rule of thumb, we're going to be using our thumb for this entire arrangement, okay? So anytime you're plucking, you're going to always be strumming down with your thumb, and even with the individual notes, you're going to just be using your thumb, cool? So after this first strum on this F chord, where we leave out the A string, then you're going to pluck just the E string while keeping your hand still in that position. Then you're going to pluck the third fret of the E string, like that. So finger moves to the third fret, E string and you pluck that E string again. So it sounds like this. Got it? I'll show you up close with the camera. So I'm first strumming just those three strings, and then I'm plucking that E string, and then playing that third fret. So, like that. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is just play an open G, C, and E string together, like this. Okay? And then I'm going to play the first fret E string, Okay, and then the third fret E string, like that, so. And really the chord that's happening during this section is a C7 chord, but since I'm not playing the A string, which my finger is on for a C7 chord, I don't really have to put it there. So I can just play these three open strings and then first fret, third fret on that E string, okay? And the notes that I'm playing when I do the first fret and third fret are F and G, okay? So let's put all that together, it just goes. back to the F chord shape, okay? But this time I'm gonna strum across all four strings, like that. And then I'm gonna again pluck just the open A string while keeping my pan still like that in that F chord shape. Then I'm gonna pluck the first fret A string, okay? Like that. So it's, this little new section is F chord, all four strings, okay? Then open A string I pluck, and then first fret A string, okay? And that's those notes are A, B flat, okay? So let's put all that together now. Ready? So we have. There we go. Then the next part, we're going to go back to this F chord shape, okay? And I'm going to strum across all four strings, okay? Then I'm going to put my fingers on the third fret 
of the E string, okay, and just play that note, which is a G note, okay? And then I'm gonna put my finger on the first fret E string, like that. And so that's G, F, okay? So this next part is F chord and then G, F. So now we're gonna start from the very beginning up to this new part, okay? Now we're gonna strum four chords right in a row, okay? The first chord we're gonna strum is a G minor chord, okay? And for G minor, uh, this is what a G minor chord looks like. Index finger, A string, first fret, middle finger, uh, C string, second fret, and ring finger on the third fret, E string, okay? So, G minor chord, then we have an F major chord, then a C7 chord, and then back to an F major chord, okay? So, this part is G minor, F, C7, F. Cool. Now I think it sounds cool during this section to strum all four of the strings on each of those chords. But if you want to be very true to like a chord melody arrangement and make sure that the highest note is always the note in the melody, you can just strum the G, C, and E string and leave the A string out. Still doing these same chord shapes, but it would be like this. So your choice, you can either strum all four strings like that, or you can just strum the G, C, and E string and not strum this A string, okay? Which would sound like this. You get to choose what you prefer. So now let's start from the very beginning all the way up to this part, okay? So starting in an F position. The next section is we're going to put our hands in an F chord shape, okay? But then you're going to add your pinky to the third fret A string, like that. And if you want to use your ring finger, you can, but I really strongly recommend using your pinky. I think it's definitely more comfortable to use your pinky, okay? So this is like an F chord shape with a, the note C on top, okay? It looks like this. Okay? And for this chord, you're going to strum all four strings, okay? So. We strum all across all four strings, and then I keep my hand in this exact position, and I keep plucking that top, that A string, okay? And I pluck it twice, like that. So I strum once, and then pluck it twice, okay? Then I'm going to strum it again, still with my hands in the same shape, okay? Then I'm going to put my finger on the first fret A string and pluck just the A string, and then I'm gonna take my finger off and pluck the open A string, okay? So it sounds like, this new part sounds like this. Like that, cool? Then I'm gonna put my hand in a C7 chord shape and I'm gonna strum across all four strings. And then I'm just gonna pluck that A string again two times, still keeping my finger where it is for that C7 shape, okay? And then I'm gonna strum that C7 again, and then open A string, and then third fret E string which is a G note, okay? So let's just do this new section, okay? So I'm starting with this F chord with the C on top, okay? So it goes like this. I keep my hand in this, this chord shape, okay? So F, F chord with my pinky on the third fret A string. I strum and then pluck the A string, pluck the A string. I strum it all again. Then I put first fret A string, then open A string. Then I put my hand in C7 chord shape and I strum across all four strings. Then I pluck the A string two times. I strum this chord again, then I do open A, and then third fret E string. Cool? So let's just do that new section one more time. Cool. Then we're gonna strum an F chord shape, okay? And then we're gonna put our finger on the first fret A string, and then open A string, and then G, which is the third fret E string, then first fret E string, which is F, okay? So let's just do that little measure. So we have F chord, first fret, open, third fret, first fret, okay? Cool. Then we're going to strum the F chord again, okay? Then first fret A string, then third fret A string, 
Okay, let's just go from this part where we have the F chord with the C on top up to what we just got through, okay? So. Now this next part you could do a few different ways, okay? First I'm going to show you the easier way and then I'm going to show you the harder way. So the easier way is you're going to put your hands in a G chord position, which looks like this, okay? And I'm going to slide that position up to the 5th and 6th fret, okay? So my index finger is on the 5th fret C string, my middle finger is on the 5th fret A string, and my ring finger is on the 6th fret E string, okay? And I'm going to just strum the C, E, and A string together. I'm not going to strum the G string, okay? So I'm going to strum those three strings. And then while keeping my hands in this shape, I'm just going to pluck the E string, okay? So it goes like that, okay? Then I'm going to strum the F chord shape, and then the C7 chord shape, and then back to the F chord shape, just like that. So that sounds like Now I'll show you the trickier way. The trickier way is you're going to bar the fifth fret, okay, with your index finger. Then you're going to put your middle finger on the E string sixth fret and your ring finger on the G string seventh fret like that, okay? So it looks like this. And you're going to strum across all four strings. And then you're going to just pluck the E string without moving your hand, so like that. Then you can just lift these fingers up and keep your hand in a bar shape, and you can just strum across this G, C, and E string, okay? Like that. So not uh, plucking the A string. Or you also have another option. You could put your fingers like this on the G, C, and E string, and then have an open A string and strum across all four strings. You could do that as well. So the options are this. I strum across all four, or this, where I just bar it and I just stop before that A string, okay? Then we have C7, and then it ends on F, okay? In the PDF chord chart, I have it written in uh, this way with the bar in the tablature, okay? And then I have it, instead of keeping my finger on the fifth fret for that F chord, I have it just going back down to that F chord, but just so you know, you have options. So you could stay up there and go, or instead of going like that. Either one, whichever one you want. So just want to show you the different options. And then C7, F, and that is the whole song. So let's try playing it from the beginning to the end, super slowly, okay? And I'm gonna play it close to the camera. together. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great 4th of July weekend. God bless America and every other country in the world too. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I post one video a week and I would love to have you here. That is all. Stay tuned for next week and thank you again for watching.